Ask credit. R slash ask credit by Redify. What mildly illegal thing do you do regularly? Sometimes I'll buy a salad for lunch at work. And it says the price includes one packet of dressing to accompany the salad, but I take two packets instead. Because duck the system. I'm living in a Muslim country, Indonesia, where they you're only allowed to bring two bottles of boo slash person when you're entering the country. Sometimes. I bring in three bottles. I've even brought in five. Edit, yes. Indonesia is a Southeast Asian country, and also the world's largest Muslim country in the world. Burkas are rare. People usually only use a hijab, the headscarf. It's supposedly a moderate Muslim country, but it has gotten more and more crazy the last few years. People wearing hijabs were pretty rare when I was growing up. And now they're common. There are more radical Muslims now, and anti-Chinese sentiments have gotten stronger. Ironically, or maybe predictably. This is after a dictator got ousted, and we got democracy as well as the freedom of press. The thing people forget about democracy is that it also means one idiot. One vote. We are not included in the Muslim ban though. Trump is building a hotel in Indonesia. But I'm not sure if that's related. Jaywalking. I live in Pittsburgh. And good lord let me tell you. The way these assholes drive it's safer to jaywalk. Just today I was in the flashing crosswalk. The lady saw me step into the road. And she still attempted a Pittsburgh left. I stopped in my tracks. Made eye contact. And, her window was down. Said you can't afford the bill I'm about to send you. Wait your turn. Assholes. I torrent television programs from channels I'm subscribed to because I don't have a DVR box. I wander into restricted areas, just to see how long it takes to for someone to realize I'm not supposed to be there. I have never gotten in trouble for what is at the very least trespassing, and in certain cases almost definitely something that could have gotten me on a watch list, but it's kind of a thrill. Also, it's a bit disturbing how lax most hospitals are about keeping people out of restricted areas. 0.0. I was once wandering in the restricted area of a hospital for nearly two hours. Passing people regularly. Before anyone asked me if I was aware that it was a restricted area. Like, I could have done some serious damage to that place if I was a cold-hearted bean. Pirate movies. Smoke pot. Jaywalk. I used to drink in the street with my friends. We got busted a couple of times, so now we keep doing it. But we are afraid all the time. Downloading music. And yes, I would absolutely download a car if I could. I don't know if it's illegal, but I use a VPN blocker to get American Netflix. I discovered a store just across the Canadian border that sells some sweet winter coats on clearance just before spring. They sell for $80 CAD which. If I put it on my credit card, works out to around $65 each. I take them back and sell them for $150 each. But I don't declare them because I'm not letting the man cut into my profits. Put my recycling in my neighbor's bin. My landlord hides mine for some reason. I asked him once and he said we didn't have any. I can see it in our backyard from my porch. Trespass on private property. It saves 5 minutes every morning walking to school. They actually don't care. Speeding. I go on the Disney Channel website without parental permission. I hop on my neighbor's Wi-Fi sometimes because their signal is better when I'm in my backyard. It's where all my best porn was torrented. You know those candy bowls on Halloween that you only can take one from? Well I ducked a dead horse. I downloaded a car once. 10 tenths would recommend. Get drunk in bars. App. Software piracy. Usually just for things that aren't available in my country or not for sale anymore. Make receipts. If you got something that is past the warranty period and broke. I got you fam. I download more am when I find my games lagging. I check I have read and agree to the terms and conditions when I haven't even glanced at them. I got some organic bananas at the grocery store and rang them up at the self-checkout as regular bananas. My thoughts are sinful. Sometimes I go into and switch borders between grades. It's a total prank. Groundskeeper thinks it's hilarious. 
Light Treason. Convert you out of music videos to MP3 files. Is that illegal? Speed. Drift through stop signs. Take my own snacks into the cinema. It's a trap. We're all getting turned in guys. Gay X, Egypt. Definitely jaywalking. I'm from New York it's pretty much an obligation for me to do it. I leave work 15 minutes early every day. I've been here 2 years. Rolling stop. Take me away. Boys. I download every Formula 1 race. US coverage is terrible. Sky Sports is the best thing going. Speed. Nothing crazy. But I'm from California. So 80 on the freeway. Surface streets are pretty calm. That it is dangerous. Yo. If it makes you feel any better. I'm a cop and I have never. And will never give a ticket for speeding that isn't outrageous. If you're doing 60 in a school zone. Yours is mine. But. Everyone speeds to a certain degree. I get it. This will piss off some people. It always does. I don't pay for Winra. Smoke weed. I lied about my birthday on Neopets when I was 13. I ride my bike on the footpath like a criminal. Tickets. I use all public transportation daily with only one ticket. Pretty sure other people do this, but I have been doing it for years. I've been caught only 3 times in past 5 years. Sometimes I use the same ticket for over a week. I work in a supermarket stacking shelves. Every shift I have to stack these boxes of microwavable ready meals. One kind are extra special and cost PS6. And the other our own brand which cost 79p. They both come inside these cardboard sleeves that you could take off. So every shift I take a few boxes of each and swap the sleeves over. Meaning someone rich will pay PS6 for a sloppy pile of lasagna and someone broke would pay 79p for the fine hit. I like to think of myself as the Tyler Durden of supermarkets. Underage drinking. It's fun to be a college freshman. Occasionally I put little bits of dry dog food next to the fence in my yard so the neighbor's 8 week old Rottweiler puppy smells them and squeezes.